All right, welcome back. So what we've done is we've used the system configuration utility, or msconfig, to turn off extra startup programs and services. So what do I mean by programs and services? Well, the extra means that their software that you've installed. For example, when you install Adobe Reader, it loads an extra little program that speeds up Adobe Reader loads. So when you look at an Adobe PDF file on a web page, that little program accelerates. It makes it a little bit faster to show up. You don't necessarily want that running automatically, slowing down your computer. Maybe one program is no big deal, but if you have 10, 20, 30, 40, it's really going to slow down your computer. So these extra startup programs, these extra services, we can choose to turn off and on as we see fit. So that's what we've done with MS Config. We've turned off extra services and extra startup programs. When you restart the computer, then you see the effect of turning these off because we're saying don't run this program automatically when I turn my computer on. You can still run Adobe and it works properly. There's no problem with it. It's just that it doesn't automatically run. That's where you run into trouble where your computer slows down. And the real problem is that most software manufacturers have startup programs included, including Office, Adobe, obviously antivirus programs, and on and on. So you want to control what's running automatically. And you should really look at this every month or two. So when you reboot, all of these extra processes are not running. Um, we've turned them off temporarily. We can turn them back on by putting the checkbox in. So you see this window, System Configuration Utility, also known as MS Config. The gist of this window is saying, well, you turned off some startup items. You turned off some startup services. And this is a reminder that, hey, you did that. Things might not work as expected if you turned off something that you need or you want. So it reminds you. Now, if you want to see this every time you reboot, click OK. If you don't want to see this, put the check mark here. Don't show this message or launch system configuration utility when Windows starts. You would check that if you don't want to see this on every time on startup and click OK. You can do this anytime. Uh, personally, I will leave that on so that it reminds me that, yep, I've turned off some startup items. So I click OK. Whoopsie, and there is the system configuration utility. It's kind of reminding you and saying, look, system services and startup items, they're not all loading. Uh, that's what we wanted. <laughs> so we're going to click OK here. Uh, this is kind of a bug as far as I'm concerned. We're going to exit without restart. <laughs> so at this point, we say, OK, we've turned off some startup items. We've turned off some system services. Uh, sorry, some extra services using MS Config. Let's see, you know, what impact that really had. How do you tell? Well, you go to your taskbar, you right-click, and you choose Task Manager. You can also hit Control, Alt, Delete, those three keys at the same time. Come up with a little window. Either it'll be showing Task Manager, or you will click the Task Manager button, and see, you will see this window. Now. We had 54 processes before we ran MS Config. So you can see that we now have 41. So that is better. 13 processes are no longer automatically running. If we look at our RAM, you can see that I've gained some RAM back. I now have 300 megabytes of RAM available to me to run programs. Now, RAM speeds up. Uh, the use of multiple programs or really intensive processes on your computer. So if you're running a computer game and you don't have a lot of RAM, you may find that your computer game is slow. If you're trying to run Word, Excel, Outlook, uh, three web pages, you may find it slow because you don't have enough RAM. So I'm actually freeing up the RAM uh, that these programs that automatically running were taking. So it helps me with the RAM. And it just indicates here that we've turned off some of the processes. So if we click on the Processes tab and we click Image Name, this will alphabetically sort. So now we go from A down to Z. By the same token, if we click Mem Usage, it sorts it from the lowest Mem Usage to the highest. So let's click it again, and it puts it to the highest. So you can see this program, which is actually my antivirus, is using 86 meg megabytes of RAM. What I want that. I need that to have things working properly. 
I can see that Apache, which I use for my web design, is taking up 10 megabytes of RAM, but I can accept that. Clipfolio, 7 megabytes of RAM. So you can actually inspect to see which programs are still running. A lot of these won't make any sense to you, and they are Microsoft processes that make Windows work. But the main point here is 41 processes, extra RAM, and a faster computer.